Hello everybody, welcome to Tom's Tips. Now this tip is another one in the series of A Picture Paint of Thousand Words. That is to say that uh, I'm making a video and I don't need to say much. And it, um, the person who asked for it is Dafty. Now I'm not calling him Dafty, it's his own personal choice. He wants his username, he thought DIY Dafty is a nice name to have, so he can have it. Uh, he wants to know what happens if you get a joint that's leaking, you've soldered it up and you turn the water on and it's every plumber's bloody nightmare it starts leaking because it means you're in trouble. There's water being in so if there's any flux in that joint it's been washed away so just putting heat on there and solder is not going to do it. You have to get all the water out and remake the joint. So this is what I do. So we're going to say for the purposes of this video that this joint is leaking water. Now the only know, we, we know that it's leaking water because we've just turned it on and there's water coming out of it instead of stopping the pipe it's leaking. So that also means if there's any flux in there the flux has been washed away as well. So if we just apply the heat and put a blob of salt on I'm 99.9 .9 sure it wouldn't work. We have to take that joint apart and see what the problem is. So what I'm going to do, or what I would do in this situation, is cut it out so I can get that thing fully dry and know that there's no water inside and get the proper heat there and take the other part and see if we can find out what it is. You can't always see what it is, sometimes it's just the fact that you've knocked it while you while it was cooling down. That can affect it to leak. But whatever it is, it has to come apart. So, what I recommend is, you get yourself a pair of these and you cut this out from wherever's easiest. Uh, so if you're going to cut it out with its pipe work it means that you're going to have to use a, a coupling on there. But at least you know that this is going to be okay before we put that coupling. Just make sure it's thoroughly dry inside the pipe, it's clean. You get the right amount of heat to it and a blob of solder and off you go. So right, we've cut this out now. We'll get the lamp going. And it won't be easy, it's a struggling job. If you use a hammer at all, or any implement to hit it with, you're going to, because you've got a heat to that point, you're going to distort that joint or break the pipe. So it's a matter of twist and turn, twist and turn. You'll see what I mean when we get going. We'll get the heat on, because once I get the heat on, I can't talk to you then because you won't be able to hear me. Now all I have to do now is let that cool down and that will be okay now because we've took it apart and then of course you've got to rebuild it back into your to pipe work. Right so that's how it's done. 